hail Biafra. All hail indigenous people of Biafra. All hail IPOB. Beloved, I've come to you again today, being 12th June 2017. Now I bring greetings to all the citizens of Biafra Nation and lovers of freedom. I am your humble servant, Comrade Evangelist Lotachuku Okolia, serving indigenous people of Biafra from the land of Norway. Beloved, I want to speak to you. I urge you as you listen to me to kindly share this message to every timeline so that it will get to be a friend's concerned. Hear me. After due consultation, I want to sound this note of warning to all Biafrans living in the north. As a matter of urgency, all Biafrans living in the northern part of Nigeria should with immediate effect vacate their businesses, vacate their schools, vacate their houses, vacate their churches and return back to Biafra of our dream. This matter is very urgent. Don't be afraid. Don't be fearful. Don't think of your properties and all your wealth in the north. Take what you can and make a proper documentation of your properties. Record it through video. The environment, the local government, the state, Document it properly and return back to the free zone which is Biafra land. We want to speak to you that that which happened in 1966 to 1970 would not repeat itself over in 2017. The world has grown. The world is a global village, not as it was in 1966 to 1970. We urge you, don't stay put in the north because of your properties. Document them. After we restore Biafra of our dream, as soon as possible, we would come after all our properties scattered in different quarters of Nigeria. Under United Nations law, no one is restricted from owning any property anywhere in the world. Under United Nations law, every person is free to own property anywhere of your choice. So we urge you, document your properties. After the nation Biafra is restored, we would come after all our properties in various places in Nigeria. 
adhere to this advice is very, very important. We want to bring to your notice that before the youth of the north that is called Arewa youth came up on the 6th of June with Kaduna declaration due consultation were made. They consulted their elders properly before issuing out that communique. Hear me brother. Such has happened during 1966. For in so many occasions our people fail to learn from history. But the purpose of history is that one could be able to assess the archive of history to know that which has happened to your people in the past. 1966, such threat was issued by the Arewas. An evil union and all the evil elites discouraged our people from returning, discouraged our people from properly listening to the threat issued. As a result of that, after the threat expired, the Ariwas that never carried out vain threat began to manifest their threat against our people. And by then, it was too late to cry. As a result of that, Biafra's living in the north in 1966, 44,000 were massacred. And when some gullible minds saw what then was happening, tried to run away from the north, all of them were ambushed on the way and were all massacred in different quarters of the north. Hear me? For when we fail to learn from history, Mistakes will keep on occurring to the destruction of our people. That was what Emeka Odumewojuku of blessed memory, then governor of Eastern Region, saw. He was pained. Then he issued automaton to all our people living in the north and urged them to return back with immediate effect. The people that we are still left in, this, in their safe zone, and all returned back to the Eastern region. We are, Adumewu Ojuku of blessed memory, taught to provide them with adequate security. And that was prelude to Biafra war, Biafra Nigeria war. Hear me. All the life that we are lost to them, none were recovered. All the properties you thought of, it will be recovered when you are alive. 
So we are conveying this message to you as you listen now. That after due consultation, this message is coming to you to vacate the north with immediate effect. We have our strategies. We have our plans. Be not fearful. For nothing would happen to your properties. Nothing would happen to anything you own. Take what you can and return back to the Eastern region. Every Tom and Harry has seen Biafrans as weak people. We love them in Latin because we know the capability of our people scattered everywhere in the world today. I read through press release from Oduduwa Yud, or you call it Lagos Declaration, on the 10th of June, 2017. I laugh. Though Yorubas are not a threat, for a barking dog can not bite. Yorubas are like the tooth, toothless bulldog. But my concern is this. How is it that everybody sees my people as weak people? To the extent of issuing threat. To our people. And I hereby urge our people as well to do everything possible to come up as well with a new declaration. The Arawas has issued their own. Oduduwas has issued their own. Bia France has to come up with a new declaration urging non indigenous of Biafra nation to vacate our premises. We so much desire to have Biafra of our dream as soon as possible. We are not joking of any sort. Remember, my beloved, that we, the Biafrans, started in the heat because of the suffering of our people and lawlessness being meted on our people by Nigerian government. Now that the heat is on, we should sustain it without fear. We must sustain it without fear. Biafra Nation, we are demanding it as our right. And that we must have. The heat which we pray for is now on. We should not be fearful at this stage. We should do whatsoever to sustain this heat that is on now. I urge our people 
to be aware that from the information I received from Biafra Secret Intelligence Agency some days ago has it that over 1,000 Nigerian military from Arewa extraction arrived to Pakistan for preparation of what is about to come. Every move from the Arewas, we always decipher it. But the Afrans are very wise and intelligent people. This information I am passing on to you now here is a fact. After the declaration of Arewa Youth, two days after the declaration, Nigerian government dispatched 1,000 military to Pakistan. All of them were of Arewa extraction. Hear me. Before we could be able to convey this message to all Biafrans, our secret intel has it from the right source. They are in Pakistan now as we speak. All from the north. All Aousa Fulani. 1,000 military personnel undergoing training for what is about to come. And we hereby call on Biafrans to be at alert, to be vigilant, and don't allow what happened in 1966 to 1970 to repeat itself again. Information keeps one in the know. But when you lack information, you live a life of dummy. You will be taken unaware. You will be destroyed. That is why we are conveying this message across to you through this medium. Share this message. So that every citizen of Biafra nation will get to know what is on the play now. 1,000 Arewa youth has been dispatched to Pakistan for training. They are there now. Biafra secret intel deciphers all their moves. Now our duty is to let you know, beloved citizens of Biafra, return back. Return back to our beloved land, Biafra, before it becomes too late. I don't want to take much of our time in today's uh, message. These are little information that I have to pass across to you out there. 
We are not afraid because we are not terrorists. What we are doing now to make sure Biafra Nation is restored as we were is never a crime. And anybody that is not supportive of what we are doing is a coward to say. Very sorry to use this word. The suffering of our people in Nigeria has become much, 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 much unbearable. The only solution is bacchanization of that entity. That everybody should Go back as it is written of them. And that is our duty. That is our duty. As one of the leaders of indigenous people of Biafra. To stand here. To put our people in the know. To shipmate our people. To direct our people in the way they should go. Please be wise and know that the North has never issued any vain threat. Be wise and with immediate effect find a way and return back to be a friend land. He that is alive lives to make wealth, lives to enjoy life, lives to multiply. But when you die, as a result of your disobedience or ignorance, everything that you have fought for, everything that you are fighting for will be destroyed, will elude you. So the purpose of me making this video today is to convey to you the message I have got from different quarters of Biafra restoration movement that the threat is serious the heat is on we must sustain this heat now soon everything will begin to play so be friends Be vigilant. Find a way to stay safe. Lastly, I want to refer us to that which happened in the scripture, the book of First Chronicles 12, verse 32 talks about the smallest tribe in Israel called Issachar. If you study there, you understand what the Bible says. Say that the children of Issachar understood the time when to act. And that is what makes them exceptional. Be a friends. We must always understand the time. We must always know what to do and when to do it. That is why this message is coming to you. To never underplay or never downplay the threat that has come 
from every corner of that murderous nation called Nigeria. Document your properties and all that you have got. Return back home. Soon, there would also be a declaration from Biafra. All non-citizens should as well vacate Biafra land, that we may have Biafra of our dream. Start it now. Take out what you can. Start it now before it gets too late. Thank you and God bless you. You must stay alive to see Biafra of our dream soon. I am still your humble servant speaking to you from the land of Norway. Evangelist Lotatu Kuokolia the humble servant of indigenous people of Biafra, Norway. Thank you, and God bless you.